वेलकम एवरीबॉडी हु आर जॉइनिंग इन वेलकम योर दिस इज अंकिता योर सिक्स मोर मिनट्स टू स्टार्ट द सेशन एज वी हैव सिक्स मिनट्स एंड यू हैव टाइम एंड यू आर वेटिंग आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट एंड सजेस्ट माय टीम मेंबर ऋषि हैज शेयर्ड यूट्यूब फेसबुक एंड इंस्टाग्राम लिंक ऑफ अ सोशल मीडिया ऑफ एजुकेशन स्ट्रीट दिस विल अलाउ यू टू गेज आज आवर वर्क to believe in what we are saying because action speaks louder than words so when you see each day what we come out with what we promote how we do things that's exactly where you would be able to understand our working and whether we suit you as a counselor or not so please do the do that we we'll start the session at sharp 6 as always we believe in time and punctuality and we would definitely start the session in another 5 minutes now Meanwhile, I'm sharing a poll with all of you. Which other country are you looking out for apart from Germany? Is it only Germany? You're looking for US. You're looking for UK, Australia, Canada, other parts of Europe, or some other country? Uh, please take a toll so that we can understand what kind of audience we have today. So the public, the poll is live. You can see the poll, and you may select your answer. so majority of you are for germany makes sense that's exactly why you have joined today's webinar and i'm more excited now that i'm going to pro provide all the information that you require for studying abroad and particularly in germany all right 3 minutes to start the session i hope meanwhile you are taking utilizing the time in hand and following us on our instagram and youtube channels also let me introduce and announce to all of you who are joining it at any point of time if you take a snapshot of today's webinar and tag us on instagram at education street uh, we have a surprise for you which we will re reveal by dm by getting you or sending you a dm so please do that my team is working there behind to send you the surprise in your dm once you tag us two minutes to roll So, sixty-six percent of the audience so far have voted for only Germany. Great, awesome. 
US is the next majority. Great. I hope I'm audible and uh, it's quite clear. The PowerPoint is visible to you. Um, you can use the chat function to populate your question while I am giving the webinar. I'm going to take up your questions by the end. Welcome everybody. This is Ankita here. It's six and it's time for us to roll and start with a very good session today and that is studying abroad in germany so welcome on board everybody who joined in early that was really exciting because today we have very very good numbers uh, so let's start as it's six on time so being today's speaker let me quickly introduce myself i'm ankita and i am the director of education street i founded education street in 2010 and it's been 11 glorious years, I would say, as I would love to say that because that has been 11 years sending students across the world for varied courses from master's, PhD and undergraduate. So that is how my journey has been. But personally, let me tell you, I'm an IT engineer. I'm an MBA from University of Leeds, UK. I've also done a diploma in counseling. Then I was not sure, but I was little interested towards counseling. And hence, I've done that counseling program in UK. Post my MBA in UK, I was recruited by British Petroleum in London. I worked there for a year and a half. And after that, I had something in my mind. And hence, I returned back in India, leaving my job and starting this in 2010. Uh, so this is how I am in front of you with 11 years of experience backing me. Apart from that, I'm personally, I am personally, I love mentoring students. I can tell you that at even at midnight and that's how my feeling is when I'm talking to a student. Apart from that, I'm a mother to a three year old daughter right now. I need to change this. It's been long. I'm a three year old daughter. Now. Uh, I have a three year old daughter. I'm a wife to a very, very hustling and a strong businessman. And that's how he supports me as well. And I am personally very fixated with meditation, self-help books, reading, and I love traveling. It's almost been 28 plus countries that we have traveled to. Um, and that's how uh, these are small things about me. So let's start and talk about today's agenda. And that is studying in Germany. So as we are going to talk about Germany as a country, let me quickly introduce you about Germany as a country and as a destination. So first and foremost, of course, it is located right in the center of uh, Germany. There are almost six to seven countries which are neighbors of uh, Germany. Uh, and uh, that's how um, the country is very, very well uh, established. Going from one country of Europe to another is very smooth in Germany itself. So a lot of students just go to study in Germany look around uh, a lot of Europe as well, because they are all weekend journeys. So these are like the good points about going to Germany. Apart from that, um, yes, we all know the capital city is Berlin. Uh, there are varied landscapes and favorable climate in Germany. It's not like very, very, very cold or uh, very hot. It has weathers with changes every few months and they're quite balanced. Uh, so that's how Germany works. And of course, there's diversity in culture. But yes, it is a very language, very linguistic oriented country. But as Germany has uh, got the concept of aging population, they have realized that they need to have a lot of skilled labor from other countries. And tada, this is the opportunity that we all wanted. And that's how Germans have started opening up for international students. And uh, no wonder, you know, they are uh, doing it best because we have a lot to gain from them and we are going to cover and unveil them in the next few slides. So that's how Germany works for us. Um, now, uh, primary facey, we all should ask this question to ourselves when we decide on location. 
so a lot of you i just ran a poll and the poll says that majority of you are looking only for germany i'm assuming here that the next slide what i'm going to put on the reasons match to it okay so why study in germany or why us or why uk is something which is very important to ask yourself and research about so today as the session is about germany education street wants to populate you the top notch reason why germany is one of the looked up to option or looked up to country to go in and study in for so first and foremost they have renowned universities in germany so when it comes to rankings of universities and stuff most of the universities are listed on dart website and all the universities which are listed out there are pretty prominent and very good to go in for but yes tu nines are the top nine universities which everybody i in everybody dreaming to go in for however there are more 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 good number of universities which are there in germany okay we are going to talk about universities in a while in our next slide so first and foremost why would you go to germany because it has one of the best education best universities in you know, over there second which is i think the major reason are you all guys interested or heard about germany because there is no tuition fee if yes don't shy away from saying that is it a yes is it a yes that there are no tuition fees makes it highly 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 uh, uh, attractive can i have a few yeses or you know whatever you think about do you think having no tuition fee for masters is quite cool and attractive yes rakesh yes you're right yes you can put it publicly you need not write it private only for me yes vishnu yes da absolutely nirmal purnima shrey yes absolutely why not i mean it's an opportunity and as i said Germans are giving education and masters for free. Living cost is the only cost that you need to pay on your own. I will be delving more onto the expenses and cost to study in US, uh, in Germany. So this is one of the prima facie why students want to study out. The third thing is research and development. We all know Germans are way too popular when it comes to their inventions and innovations. And why? Because the universities carry that forward. So they have highly skilled people around. And if you go to study in their system, you're going to be one of them. So research and development is very, very high, and R and D is very high in a lot of areas. But automobile, mechanical, engineering, technology—these are the most prominent. area even chemistry biotechnology pharmacy a lot of these areas the degree recognized yes it is recognized worldwide um at the point later which i'm going to cover up before made in germany tag so it's like you know how german cars are always like the best in the lot the same way the students who have studied in germany are best among the lot so that's how german gets those german tag and that's exactly what you are in for international exposure so yes it gives you a very good area a lot of europeans there and as there is no tuition fee even americans wants to study there even korean chinese a lot of people want to come there for the best education that you can get with a very limit uh, uh very less expense okay um yes it is a land of innovation it's a land of engineering we all know about it we all talk about it and that's why it's a very inspiring destination to go and for it's a world player and it has a healthy economy we have never heard about germans being in recession even when europe was in recession german was the only sparkling country it's a world player that means it has a lot of opportunities it is a super power it's among the top 5 countries which has the biggest economy biggest uh, you know place in the world sphere and that's why germans are known for their uh every kind of product and service that they provide so these are enough reasons so all the students who are thinking to go to germany does it make sense i am sure it makes sense right so these are the reasons why anybody should consider to go to germany now let's talk about german education system so if i am aspiring to study as a masters in germany one thing that you need to figure out and start with is there are two kinds of universities in germany as i said earlier okay so there are tu which is university of technology and there is fh which is universities of applied sciences okay now what is the difference 
first and foremost tu universities are very research oriented university so that means when you go for a masters both the program in tu or fh is for two years that means four semester the three semesters are coursework wherein you choose your core programs or your electives your specialization the final semesters in tu is your research work basically you do a project or a thesis under a professor on a topic that you choose yourself so this is how the research work gets carried out at a master's level of course ahead you can go for a phd but that can only happen in a tu university whereas in an fh university all four semesters in your two year program of masters are only coursework that is only electives and classroom trainings so there is no thesis there is no project work okay so this is the difference between a tu and fh so if you're looking to go for a phd you should go for a tu university but you are okay you are very sure you just want to go for a professional masters both tu and fh are open for you okay so to do research you need to enroll yourself into a tu again if you have done a masters in fh so be careful on those desires of yours and you can talk to us for us to shortlist and give you universities from tu and fh both there's a myth that everybody carries that only tu universities are free of cost no that's not true both tu and fh are free of cost that means there is only limit uh, very uh, uh, lesser fees or no fees however there are private universities which is separate in germany which are also very renowned but they have fees okay so these are the variations of universities in germany and that's how you need to be able to distinguish and choose the right university a lot of students do not get into german universities because they all have very very different entry requirements if you try to fit yourself into all university the same way you probably will not get an admission and that's why choosing a right german counselor is very important who understands germany as a country and who can shortlist universities accordingly and also help you for the university application process okay so this is how the german education system works it now coming to the intakes so there are two intakes in both the universities october and march october is the winter intake march is a summer intake yes winter intake is the biggest intake that means all universities all courses and everything are open whereas when it comes to march which is summer intake only few universities are open that means only 50% or 40% of the courses are open for you apart from that is there any disadvantage if i look for the next march 22 to go in for no if your course your university is open and you don't want to wait why are you waiting for and why are you worried for there is no reason there is no disadvantage it's nothing of that sort that you would not get a job later on after march intake or whatever these are all myths carried out which are wrong so whichever intake you decide you still have very good experience in education and you eventually have good job opportunities to attract yourself with okay so these are two different intakes october and march okay now the german application requirements so every university has a documentation list that we need to go in for so i'm going to first cover the basics and then i'm going to cover the normal questions a lot of which which are related to german education so please be patient i'm going to answer to all of them okay so now what do the german university require may be a tu or a fh these are the set of documents which are required okay first and foremost letter of motivation this is nothing but a statement of purpose which we all might be aware of basically it is an essay about you what you have done what you have liked why you want to go for this course what are your goals after this masters you know how do you think you are a good student for them this is your story your character which we need to bring in your lom letter of motivation now for this we have editors at education street who do not ghost write we do not believe in completely writing it from scratch because even if we do that it will not get you the best admission because it will not bring the best out of you so we as counselors promote what is ethically right for you so we give you samples you write a rough draft 
we take from you and then my editors work enhance and bring the best out of that version okay then we require two letter of recommendation if you are working we can have one work area if you are not then we can have two academic if you have done an internship we can have one from internship so we require two letter of recommendation ideally the recommender should write it but as india is as it is so a lot of recommenders do not write them so what we do is we again share samples with you we discuss whom to take it from and then you write a draft you give it to me and my editors work upon and give you the final one page version out of it which you will get it stamped and signed the third thing required is either ielts or toefl you all know that germany is very very language oriented so most of you are worried about german language i am going to talk about that as well but first and foremost understand this all the courses which we apply typically as an international student would be completely 100% taught in english until and unless you have a german language proficiency so you have to take up an ielts or toefl to prove them that you are capable for getting capable to understand english and that's how ielts and toefl is compulsory you can take either ielts or toefl ielts we require minimum 6.5 and toefl we require minimum 90 or 95 plus so this is how you need to cater to these exams and ielts and toefl are valid only for 2 years the fourth thing is gre which is optional few of the very popular courses like the automobile and mechanical in rwth rk or the tu 9s some of them like 15% or 10% of them only for these courses mainly may require a gre so it is not compulsory it is optional but it is recommended for such popular programs to take up gre okay i would also suggest if your scores are less if your scores are aggregate of your uh, this thing is not very very uh, strong enough then in this case gre can up your game to apply for germany now the fifth thing is german language all of you who have started german language as your uh, uh, language preparation very good however if people who have not done it you need not worry you will be going for an english taught program if you have time if you are going to go for the next october intake you still have time and you can start with your uh, uh uh you know german language but if you have not done your german language and you are going to go for a march intake do not worry it is optional the seventh thing uh, is transcripts so basically it is like your mark sheets but we need to get it for all semester from your university of bachelors then your mark sheets and extra curriculars in case if you have done like project work certification internships work experience all these things could be added to your profile so this is how the german application requirements go in for now what do admission officers look in german uh, in international students when they are taking and giving admits firstly let me have a base here that they typically have only 40 to 60 seats per class that means it makes it very restricted when it comes to the number of students that they can take top of it they have international student across the globe applying because who doesn't want a german qualification degree saying this it is very important to work on your grades so students who have already finished their bachelors do not worry you cannot do anything from the past but who are starting early like in first year or second year please work on your grades of all semesters so they look and pull out aggregate for all the years and semesters so your grades are very very important and trivial year then the relevant course students normally look for a change when they go for masters like i have students who are looking from international uh, electrical engineering to go for say information systems or data science or business analytics or otherwise okay it is very important to check the entry requirement of that university because if they have prerequisites like certain subjects which you have not done and you blindly apply to that university in a way you may get a reject we may not meet 100% of their prerequisite if we meet 80% or 75% that should be good enough 
but that judgment we as counselors provide you and that's exactly what education state provides you at every stage okay so relevant course is very important to look out for and check the website and dart websites for that the third thing is if you have done internship or work experience they really really appreciate practical experience into your profile so all the students who are working that is going to be a very good advantage for you students who have not been working and still want to apply next year itself do not be disheartened you still have chances as well but yes i would not deny work experience and internship definitely elevates your chances to get into a german university because they absolutely appreciate practical knowledge then your projects and vocational qualification in case any done projects done in school or your internship vocational qualification like certifications done out of your academics these all things really really add a lot of value to your profile and you become up the competition so this is how we support and guide you students who are looking forward to apply for germany way before so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover the basic questions which all of all of the students have okay so typically students have lot of questions when it comes to germany and i'm going to answer them in question and answer format later i would open up for more questions in the chats but this is the basic questions which student have okay when should i start the application process for germany so typically the deadlines so early application the chances are higher this is one mantra which i want to tell and give everybody there is no way that you apply for deadlines which are there in feb and march i know a lot of you would say october deadlines are in feb march and so i agree but you know the concept as we all know fifo first in first out that means if you apply early you would be given the first chance and you would be evaluated when the seats are not full so that way you have better chances and hence applying early i would say typically by december is the best way to do it okay now the winter intake the deadlines are in feb and march as i said summer intake which is march intake the deadlines are in december so this is how you have to plan early i would say you should always plan to apply a month at least minimum before the deadlines okay so this is how the deadlines work for germany now let me talk about what would it cost me to attain my german education we have all heard about there are no tuition fees but let me add to it what else would be the cost which will come to you as a student so first of all there are no tuition fees yes that is true but there are some universities which have administrative fees or ad hoc fees which is charged per semester which may range to 500 to 1000 euros okay so this is what you need to take care of one thing before i start and go further guys as i announced in the start at any point of time of the webinar if you take a snapshot of this webinar and go on instagram and tag us at education street we have a surprise which we will unveil you in your and we will dm you in your message box so please do that at any point do not forget before leaving because we want to share that surprise with you okay so this is the chance and the links for our instagram and youtube is already shared by rishi so do follow us the handle names are at education street coming back so 500 to 1000 euros is typically what the uh, payment looks like okay so you need to keep that in mind now coming the tuition fees are not there but living cost of course is there right so living cost typically what we need to show during the visa stages around 10000 euros now this cost is something which can be reduced also as a student we have to show this and we have to open a blocked account may it be in a german bank or an indian bank this process we help you out as well now what is a blocked account blocked account is basically a account in your name okay which you will be filling in with this 10000 dollars could be from an educational loan or your personal funds now this money is yours only which you can withdraw once you are in germany you cannot withdraw this money at one take so basically that's why it is called as blocked 
every month you have a cap of 1000 maximum so this is how you have to adjust your living cost and 1000 euros are around this much is more than enough and very lavish so typically you would be spending around 500 to 600 euros per month then the another cost that you have to bear is health insurance any international country you go in for the moment you land in that country you compulsory have to buy an health insurance this health insurance cost you for two years around 30 to 45,000 rupees, depending on which insurance carrier you buy. So these are the expenses in case if your parents ask you or you need to start saving for it. This is the amount of money that you need to keep aside if you're looking out to go for German education. Now, German education, as much as it sounds very attractive, because that's exactly what we want to do, save a lot of money. The things which go wrong with a student is they don't start early. They go with half-baked knowledge and they pick wrong universities. They do not take care of their letter of motivation. They do not take care of your, you know, entire application process. And hence, they don't have any admit from universities. Please do not do that mistake and look for a supporting hand who can help you with the experience which they have. Now, Am I allowed to stay in the country post my education? We all want to have a stay back option, right? So in this case, post your two years, all the masters typically are for a year and a half or two years. You are allowed to stay for a year and a half years. So you get 1.5 years post your masters to be in Germany to look for a job and work in Germany. Post that you can apply for a EU blue card. So once you have a job, you're allowed to stay for five years, which is definitely employer dependent, but you will apply for a EU blue card. EU blue card is basically job oriented, but it is almost given to every student who has a job. Now, once you have an EU blue card, let me tell you one good thing about Germans is that it is an EU country. So basically, once you have an EU blue card, even other countries of European nation becomes open for you. And that is a big marketplace for you. So it gives immense opportunities if you're ready to do the hard work. OK, can I work part time while I'm studying? Yes, you are allowed to work 120 full days or 240 half days, basically 20 hours per week. And that is how you are allowed to work every week and month and year. Now, yes, as Germany is a very linguistic country, getting part time job is a challenge. You will only get that thing if you become proficient or at least with your basic good with basic German language. So if you do not have German language now, while you want to apply for masters, it is OK. But while you're studying there in your first semester, please pick it up. There are German schools free language schools free, which you have to take up. And you have to learn your German language. So to be in that country, to survive the best way, to earn your money the best way, learning German language is very important. So I recommend everybody who's looking out to go for Germany, start your German language uh, studies as soon as possible. Typically, a part time jobs pay around eight euros to 10 euros per hour. Now, coming back to the language, because again, that's a very important question. Do I need to know German language? English courses are only selected for you. So as a counselor, I would be helping you to apply for English courses only. But Germany is a very linguistic country, as I said. Life would be way much easier. Part time jobs would be smooth if you learn German language. So please fix your mind that I have to learn German language. There are no shortcuts. OK, you learn now or you learn once you're there. That is your choice that you have. But you have to start with your German language. OK, now what are the skills in German language? They have a levels of languages for German. A1, A2, B1, TESDAP, DSH. These are all different levels of German language. So basically, you would start with A1 and A2. You may learn German online. You may learn German from any coach. However, the only test that you can take to get these certificates of A1, A2 or B1 is from Goite Max Miller. Please note this because they, there may be a lot of tutors or online people who may 
uh, do a fraud and tell you we will take the test and give you the certificate it doesn't work there's a german body which helps you and supports you to apply and get, take these tests which happens around the year so this is the way that you have to appear for german language okay that is how it is uh, am i audible there is someone who is saying that i'm not audible that makes me little uh, worried all the people so many people uh, am i audible can you just put a yes to me perfect thank you anuran thank you love thank you so much thank you purnima thank you so much yeah moving further so basically guys german language is very important and critical so for the job uh, and stuff we need to learn german language now how are the job opportunities now this is something which is a very important question of course we all have it because we are going abroad to study because of this only right as indian students whichever country we choose we are always linking our education with jobs now this is how we are trained because that's how we quantify things and that is how we have always been you know um, uh, able to you know think in those manners but guys first i would answer in a different way that any country you choose none of the jobs come easy to you i would be the first counselor or i don't know whoever but typically i speak very very ethically and honestly to my students what i want to say here is but still so many students go in because they are ready for the challenge they are ready to work upon themselves and they are ready to hard do the hard work if you are ready to do the hard work go to germany or us or canada you are going to shine like a star because hard work and performance are the only two indicator of your survival in those countries there is no godfather there is no support system there is no one out there for you so if you are ready to get out of your comfort zone this is exactly what you are looking forward if you are ready to go out of your comfort zone then you would have the best job opportunities in germany because you are ready to work upon yourself so once you have done your education well you have performed in the university along with it you need to network a lot and be very proactive so basically the job opportunities are very good in germany now anyone can say it's very good right let me ask you a question why do you think germans are giving you free education is it because they are very rich and hence they want to throw money on you this is a question which i'm asking everybody why do you think germans are giving you free of education what do you think is a reason what do you think is a reason can you answer this exactly rohan manpower their population is aging that's what i said a loss of one is a gain of other they have aging population and as you know germans germans are all known for the things that they have created themselves they are not rich or they are not a superpower because of the natural resources like oil or any other things which they have they are rich because they have this they have skilled people they have a popular and very very good skilled labor and that is where the shortage comes to fill that shortage they started with this education system being open to international students and that's exactly where they are calling you so if you're skilled if you're hard working if you're performance oriented you have the job because they have the job they have that industry they want you and that's exactly is the biggest litmus indicator you don't have to look for answers directly look why the country is giving you free education they are giving you free education or they are inviting you to be there because they want to absorb you in their system they want that you come through education only that's why they are not opened any permanent residency or point system bases because they first want to take you nurture you into the german education system and then bring out the best out of you and populate you in the workmanship 
right workforce so this is how german is a very strong economy they are very well known for their iq they are very well known for their innovation they are very known for their quality and that's exactly what they're looking out from you so if you're looking out to go for germany you definitely have job opportunities for any sphere any education that you're looking out for okay this is something which i can say confidently because that's exactly what is the biggest indicator from germans themselves you don't have to believe me this is what the germans are indicating right action speaks louder than words and that's what the actions of germans speak they are giving you free education because they want you there okay now the question is am i eligible to apply now this is a question which depends on each student i know i cannot answer them by screening your profiles on a webinar portal so definitely we need to have a one on one counseling with each other to understand whether you're suitable to apply to germany or not and trust me when it comes to education state we play by rules we play by ethics if your profile doesn't seem like a very very strong profile and that's how it is we will call an apple an apple so if you want to judge yourself you if you want to uh, check upon yourself you can definitely come in touch with education street we will definitely help you out with okay so our german counseling holds on on stands on right university selection as they said on how to select a university what to do what are the entry requirements what your background has been build your profile if you're starting early about you know your certification internships we help in that then your guidance and editing for your a uh, letter of motivation your letter of recommendation we help in filling up the application forms of germany go and check out with your seniors and you would know german counseling or german form filling is one of the most hectic thing even i find personally after doing this for 11 years because all the universities are ever changing their form requirements are always ever growing and they have really really a very tedious and a chaotic process so this is where our expertise comes in picture and at the end we help you for the visa counseling which is again a lot of work to do in for so if you're looking for a counselor who works honestly if you're looking for a counselor who works for you who wants to apply for free universities and send you to universities where you can get in for if you're looking for this expertise education street is more than ready to support you and guide you apart from germany if you're looking for any other country along with germany like uk australia canada ireland us we support and guide you for all these because we have a very big team and we have very good experience in all of these areas so if you're looking for counseling we are ready to support you just to bring out one message for all of you before i start taking up questions which are several out there in the room i will be taking up the message that we always play by is and introduce to student is end of education is character so basically do not fall for something trending do not fall for something which someone has done it is your education choose the education yourself and the bring the best about yourself do not link it to jobs and pay salaries basically if you grow your salary grows so this is an equation which is very very clear i have seen this from my experience from my students even if you score the best but you don't have the best way of communicating the best way of talking the sharpness you are not going to be successful so believe in yourself and make the best character out of yourself so this is what i would say would be the good thing if you want to take counseling from us this is my email id this is the number where you can connect with us my team will also definitely connect with us so if you are looking for counseling please please get in touch with education street and let me tell you we are paid counselors so basically paid counselors are counselors who are very vocal about what we will support you in for i already mentioned to you our end to end services right from university shortlisting till your visa your sop editing your lor editing your form filling everything would be taken care by us and the counseling fees for germany is 40000 
it may sound a lot to a few of you but people who understand what work goes behind and also students who have joined us in the past they are rest assured in the universities which they wanted to go in for and they are absolutely happy in the entire journey so if you want something like free germany gives free education they have a need but we cannot give you free counseling for germany there would be counselors who may take lesser or more but without any experience and leave you in middle so please choose your counselor wisely you can also go and not believe in what i am saying you go on a google reviews at education street and check a google reviews not even a website because website is my words and check the reviews which our students have given so in this way if you believe then you can join us and we would absolutely appreciate your you coming on board so thank you for attending today's session and i'm going to open up for questions please leave your feedback how the session was did you appreciate the content that we shared today do follow us on education street at instagram and youtube because we roll out a lot of information before leaving because it is half it is not a proper closure right so uh, i understand your answers may have got solved or you have something else to do absolutely understandable but do leave your questions our feedback before you leave so your feedback means a lot because that way i would understand whether i served the audience well or not <laughs>